The Enchanted Bookshelf. Once upon a moonlit night, in a cosy little cottage nestled at the edge of the enchanted forest, lived a curious child named Ella. Ella had a heart as wide as the sky and an insatiable appetite for stories. Her favourite companion was an old wooden bookshelf that stood against the wall, its shelves sagging under the weight of countless tales. One chilly evening, as the stars winked through the window, Ella tiptoed to the bookshelf. She blew the dust off its spines and whispered, What secrets do you hold, my dear friend? The bookshelf quivered its time one wood awakening. It creaked open, revealing a magical tome, the very heart of its existence, the 365 bedtime stories and rhymes. Ella's eyes widened. She knew this was no ordinary book. Ella flipped to page one, and suddenly she was soaring through the night sky. Twinkling stars carried her on their luminescent wings. She met Stella, the star who yearned to dance across the Milky Way. Together, they pirouetted among constellations, leaving stardust in their wake. Page 23 transported Ella to the hillside. She joined Liam the lamb in his search for a lost sheep. The moon hummed a lullaby and Ella sang along, her voice weaving a path back to the fold. The lost sheep nestled against Liam's woolly side and the stars applauded. On page 50, Ella found herself in a grandfather clock. The pendulum swung like a metronome and Milo the mouse scurried along its gears. He had a secret. The clock held the key to time travel. Ella wound the gears and whisked away to ancient Egypt, where they danced with pharaohs and whispered secrets to the Sphinx. Page 89 revealed a gingerbread house deep in the forest. Ella stepped inside, and there stood Hansel and Gretel, crumbs clinging to their fingers. The witch with her licorice wand cackled. But Ella had a plan. She sprinkled the house with kindness, turning it into a cozy bakery. The witch traded her spells for cinnamon rolls. As Ella reached page 111, she found herself by a moonlit pond. A swan, graceful and melancholy, sang a haunting melody. Its feathers transformed into silver notes that floated across the water. Ella listened, tears in her eyes, as the swan's song healed old wounds and mended broken hearts. Finally, on the last page, Ella stood before the bookshelf itself. It whispered, Dear child, you've woven magic with each story. Now take this enchanted quill. Ella dipped it in moonlight ink and wrote her tale of courage, friendship, and dreams. And so the bookshelf closed its wooden heart content. Ella returned to her bed, clutching the quill. As she drifted into dreams, she whispered, thank you, dear bookshelf. Tomorrow, we'll write another chapter. And so they did night after night until the enchanted forest echoed with laughter and wonder. And that, my dear friends, is how 365 bedtime stories and rhymes became more than a book. It became a portal to endless adventures. So, next time you open a book, remember, within its pages lies a universe waiting to embrace you. The link to the book is in the description below. Thanks for watching.